Now we're doing free code camp, front end development libraries, bootstrap, make images mobile responsive. All right. So now we're gonna add a new image below the existing one and set its source attribute to this one, pardon me, this right here. Uh, it would be great if this image could be exactly the width of our phone's screen. Fortunately, with Bootstrap, all we need to do is add the image responsive class to our image. Uh, we're gonna do this and the image should perfectly fit with the width, pardon me, it should perfectly fit the width of our page. All right. So, so, so. This source, this image below uh, the one that's existing. So right here. So let's start off and let's have the uh, IMG, all right? And inside the image, we're gonna have SRC equals this right here. So we'll copy and paste this uh, URL right here. Just like that. All right, now we got a bunch of cats. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is add this uh, class to it, right? So we'll put it right here. So class equals IMG responsive, all right? And that should change the width. I mean, it didn't do it right here, but it should in uh, on like phones and stuff. But the thing is, uh, so this class right here, somehow within the bootstrap framework, there's already a CSS file, uh, somewhere in there that has classes, uh, that has this class already in it. That's going to make this, uh, what is it? It's going to make the width hundred percent of the uh, screen size. Uh, but the other thing is I was reading up on it and, uh, this is the outdated version, the actual new version of it. The new way we do it now these days. Oh, that's not even how you spell it. Uh, is uh, image fluid like that. But uh, we're not on that. We're not doing that right now because this is an old version. So we're going to do this image responsive. All right. Uh, so now let's run the test. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to centered text with bootstrap. And. See you next time.